What's going on everybody? There's a new event in Pokemon Pocket TCG. It's a PvP event this time. If you go down into the battle menu and then you go to versus, you see there's an event underway and then you access it by going to the event match. So it is the Genetic Apex Emblem Event 1, implying that there will be more than one. And this is going for a few weeks. It ends November 27th. And then if you want some more information about the event, uh, here you go. You can kind of take your time to read through that. But uh, essentially, the too long, didn't read, didn't watch uh, version of it is that there are different missions that you can complete for some hourglasses and for some dust as well. And then you can unlock some medals depending on how many wins you get. You get a medal at uh, one win, five wins, and then I think the last two are 25 and 45 wins. So the list I'm using is a experimental deck. It's a Misty deck. And I know a lot of people hate this card. I hate this card too, but it's just, it's so broken when you can actually pull it off. Um, for those of you who don't know what Misty does, essentially you just choose one of your water Pokemon, you flip a coin, and until you get a Tails, you take a water energy um, for each head that you get and attach it to that Pokemon. So you can just flip a Tails right away and get nothing, or you can get seven heads in a row and get seven energy. And I've had both of those things happen to me, so it can be, it can feel very bad when you whiff, but it feels very, very crazy and, and basically impossible to lose when you get like all this extra energy um, on your Pokemon. So that's what Misty does. She's a very uh, insane, insane card. Uh, we got actually a bunch of different Pokemon in this one. Uh, again, this is experimental, so not necessarily the best deck list or anything like that. Just something I've been uh, having fun with. Uh, we got two Staryu's, a Starmie, a Starmie EX. I only have one Starmie EX, which is why I got one regular one EX. Articuno EX, only got one Articuno EX as well. Two of the new Lapras EX, one basic Lapras. Two potions, two X-Speeds, two Pokeballs, Pokedex, red card. Two Professor's Research, and then the two misties so basically uh the lapras and the articuno uh work very well with the the misty because since this card is just it's expensive to use it is a good card but its attack takes three energy and its retreat is three energy which is expensive and then the uh, basic lapras goes well with misty if you high roll uh, one energy for 20 damage, but if you have at least three extra energy, it does 70 more damage. So it'll do 90 damage if you have four energy or more on that Lapras. And then Star You into Starmie EX is just it's just a really good like early game sort of card because the Star You can attack with one energy, and then the Starmie EX attacks with two energy for 90 damage, which is pretty nuts. Um, yeah, unfortunately, I only have one Starmie EX. If I had to, I would replace this other Starmie with the EX version. And then we have Articuno, which is just an all-around, uh, just an all-around good card that can fit into essentially any water deck, I think. Uh, just, just a really good card. And then the items, the trainer stuff is pretty standard for the most part. I would say like potions are pretty standard. X speed. Pokeballs and Professor Research are pretty standard. I already talked about Misty. Uh, now the one ofs might be a little bit out of the norm is the red card and the Pokedex. The red card I think is pretty good as a one of. I wouldn't put two in your deck. But just if your opponent has like a really big hand, you can play this and just totally screw up their game plan. Um, so I really like having a one of uh, red card in this deck and just any deck really I like having a one of. And a Pokedex is it's kind of a weird one. I thought this card sucked at first, but... The more I play this game, the more I think it's actually useful. Just looking at the top three cards of your deck can be very helpful to just sort of navigate your game plan. Because in this game, if you make one small mistake, it could essentially cost you the entire game. And what I mean, mean by that is, like, let's say you have an active Pokemon and a bench Pokemon, right? And you're deciding, do you want to invest your energy into the active Pokemon or the benched Pokemon? Now, it kind of depends on, on what you're going to draw into, right? Like, let's say you have a Star U in your active slot and you got like a Lapras EX in your bench slot. You're like, well, 
be, ooh, I, am I going to draw the Starmie EX, right? Like, if I draw the Starmie EX, then yeah, I'm going to invest into my Staryu, I'm going to give it energy, and I'm going to I'm gonna try and heal it with some potions. But if not, I'm just going to let it die and invest in the Lapras EX. Well, the Pokedex could kind of help you out and give you that information, right? So look at the top three cards of your deck. Let's say, okay, and my next draw, I'm getting the Starm EX, or my next two draws, I'm getting the Starm EX. So we're gonna we're gonna stick with the Star U on board and try and keep it alive. But you look at the top three cards. Let's say you get like a potion, you get a Speed EX, and you get uh, like a like an Articuno, right? You're like, well, I'm not drawing the Starm EX, so I'm just gonna let the Star U die, and I'm going to invest into the Lapras EX on my bench instead. So. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, essentially, is it, it in a nutshell? It just kind of helps me look into the future, into my game plan, and see one where I want to uh, invest my energy into. All right, so I'm gonna hop into a game here, and I started playing this game around the official launch, which was around o October 31st, so Halloween. Been playing this game for about a week now. I've been loving it so far been having a ton of fun with it the only thing i really hate about this game is going first it really seems that you're just at a clear disadvantage unless maybe like you high roll with misty but most of the time i'll say like nine out of ten times it's just disadvantage um i got second this game so we'll go ahead and we'll just place our star you there and we got two misties in hand so now, if I went first with Lapras, EX, and like High Rolled Misty, that'd be pretty nuts. But yeah, 9 times out of 10, uh, going second is just better. And it looks like he's playing that new Mankey. The promo Mankey. So we got a Star U. Ooh, and we got the Star Me EX right off the bat as well. Let's go ahead and Pokeball. We will. Lapras. Um, I'm gonna Misty onto this Lapras actually. Let's see if we can I roll. Okay, one. One energy. Okay, that's not bad. So we'll take one energy on the Lapras. I'm gonna go ahead and just attach one to Star You. And we'll just attack for 20 here. And then we can evolve in a Starmy EX next turn. And yeah, he's got double Mankey. So we'll see what he wants to do here. X speed. He's going to retreat. Okay, so he's going to retreat just for the other Mankey. Just for the full health Mankey. Sure. Sure, sure. Oh, he's going to evolve that one into Primeape. Okay. And then... What's he going to do? Retreat again? Is he going to attack with this one? Okay, attacks with that one. Yep, yep. Get a Lapras EX. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Let's go ahead. Oh, we got a bunch of different things we can do here. Let's play the Lapras EX. Let's evolve into Starmie EX. And I'm going to use my second Misty on... Oh, which Lapras do I want to do? This Lapras already has one energy, so if I do... He needs to get four energy to do 90 damage. Now nah, let's just do the let's just buff the EX one. If I even can roll ahead, right? Right, of course not. <laughs> of course not. Who am I? Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Okay. That's fine. We'll just go ahead. Attach energy to Starmie. We'll take out that Mankey. And I don't think this primate had any energy, right? Yeah, he's got no energy, so I should be good to win, honestly. I, I feel like he played that kind of weird. Where he retreated one, he evolved the one in the back line, and then he put the energy on the active one. Yeah, I feel like he made a misplay somewhere there. He probably should have just evolved the active one, maybe. Because now he can't attack. And now I'm just going to one-shot this Primeape in. Oh, no. He's going to retreat. Okay. He's got a speed. He's got a speed. Okay. 
Is he gonna put in the sand true? I could one shot the sand true. And then he could come in Primeape and one shot my Starmie. Unless I draw a potion. Uh, I get another star you. Uh we'll play that just because why not? Um I could retreat here if I wanted to, but I think I just want to kill that sand true. So let's go. Uh do we want to energy? I think the Lapras EX makes the most sense here. So we'll energy that. Hydro splash the sand true, get rid of that. No potion, unfortunately. So we go to two points. But he can take out my Starmie EX in one hit, and then he'll get two points. And I assume that's what he's going to do. He's got a Q-Bone. Okay, okay. Only two cards in his hand. Yep. Here's my Starmie. R.I.P. R.I.P. Starmie. Did your job. So we'll put in our... Lapras EX. And we get a research. Nice. Definitely need some more cards here. See what we get. A red card. That's not really useful. And then a potion. So none of these cards are really useful right now. But I think we're still good. Next turn we can kill the Primeape. Unless he... Unless he has a potion to heal... If he has a potion to heal, then we might be. It might be screwed here. I don't know. This is going to be close. This, this is a good game. This is going to be close here. Okay, so and he doesn't play anything. So that's that's it. That's game, my brother. So we'll just go ahead. Army. Lapras. Bubble Drain. And that is GG, my friend. Yeah, I think he, he definitely made a mistake somewhere in the beginning with the, the two Minkies and the Primeape. That was a little too close, though. It was a little bit closer than I would have liked. Uh, but we got the dub. Let's try and play another game. All right, next game up. So this deck's pretty fun so far. It just sucks if you go against Lightning, of course. I mean, every deck is going to have... It's natural counter, right? And this dex counter is lightning. But I haven't been running into too many lightning decks. Ooh, we got a bunch of options here that we can do. Let's start. Ooh, I don't know. Well, let's put... What do we want to start? I either want to start the Articuno or the Staryu. I'm thinking the Staryu in case I draw into a Starmie or Starmie EX. And everything else can go on the bench. That's fine. Just dump our hand. We won't get red carded. And we can start. And Minky. Another Minky. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was debating either Staryu or Articuno, but... I think I'd rather just start doing damage as early as possible since Articuno takes two energy, Staryu takes one. And he's got two Mankeys and two Fossils. Ooh, and I do top deck the Starmie EX. That's nice. That's pretty nice. So we'll go ahead and attach one to Staryu. Back for 20. And we got a full board here. And okay, he's gonna evolve it into the Kabuto. Okay. He evolves both of them. Okay, okay. Let's see where this is going. Oh wow, okay. So he's investing into the bench. Interesting. We get a Misty, so I can do Misty on. Ooh, I'm thinking I either want to Misty the Articuno or the Lapras EX. Uh, let's do the Lapras EX. Maybe we can, maybe we can get lucky here, please. Pokemon Gods, one, one. Okay, I'll take one. I'll take one. 
That's better than nothing. So we'll energy star you. Evolve into Starmie. And now we're just gonna get cooking. Starmie EX is, is such a good card. For two energy, you're doing 90 damage, and it has a free retreat as well. This card is just so good. So I could clear anything here because this has 90 health, 90 health, 50 health. I, I, I'm just one-shotting everything. Like 90 damage is just such a high, like, such like a high threshold, you know? Like it just clears a lot of, I want to say every like stage one Pokemon maybe. Okay, he's got the Kabu top, so stage two. Ooh, okay, okay, interesting. So this guy's deck is a little bit different than the other one I played against. Um, I guess we'll Pokeball just to thin our deck out. Get another Star U. And I'm going to attach this to the Lapras EX, so that will be ready to go next turn. Does he have a way to kill me if I don't heal with the potion? I don't think so. Unless maybe he does Primeape or something, but I think we're good. So I'm going I'm to hang on to the potion. We're just going to Hydro Splash, and then we will see what he wants to do here. But we're, we're looking good. Even though the Misty only got one energy, like that's still, that's still like like super helpful because next turn my Lapras EX is gonna be online. I could retreat for free with Starmie if I want to, and just put in Lapras and just start going to work. And honestly, maybe, maybe I'll do that. Oh, we got a Pokedex. Okay, let's let's Pokedex. Let's see what we're gonna draw peek into the future. We're going to get a Misty, a Potion, and then another Starmie. Um, hmm. Okay, okay. Misty, Potion, Starmie. So, if I attack with Starmie, that is doing 90 damage, and he barely has enough to survive that. Oh, where's Giovanni where you need him? I don't have Giovanni, unfortunately. Um, I think I'm going to retreat. We're going to let this Starmie live here. And you know what? He can snipe my Starmie with Hitmonlee, so I'm going to heal Starmie, actually, so that doesn't happen. And we're going to bubble drain. And we're looking, we're looking okay. I don't know. It could, I feel like it could still go either way. But so far, I think we're looking good. Oh no, he's got Giovanni. Oh no. Oh no, he's got the, the special one too. So he's going to heal. Oh, he only heals to 80 though. And then I do 80 damage. So we're good actually. We're good. And we got our Misty. So let's Misty onto Articuno, right? I think that's the next thing we want to Misty. Let's Misty before we place our energy. So let's go Misty here. Articuno. Come on. Okay. One. Just one. Okay. That's fine. We'll take it. So I'll give this to Articuno. He can Ice Wing now. Um, but we are going to Bubble Drain the Kabutops. That's going to kill the Kabutops. And it's going to heal Lapras EX 20 as well. So we're looking good. We're looking good. Now he could take out my Lapras with a uh, with a Primeape though. If he evolves this. Oh, but he put in Kabuto, so I'm thinking another Kabutops, I guess. Yep, another Kabutops, okay. He hasn't played any EX Pokemon. No EX, okay. So there's 
that. Honestly, we are looking very... We're looking very good here. I don't think we can lose at this point. I heal with the potion. And then... I heal again with Lapras's effect. Yeah, I think we're... I think we're chilling, honestly. We are chilling. I, I don't even know if I needed to use the potion, to be honest. But... I, I think we're good either way, so I, I don't think it matters too much. I think it's fine. So let's see what he can do. Sabrina, okay. Sabrina, Sabrina. I guess I put in the Articuno then, because he's got the most health and he's got three energy. But is that going to save him? Oh, wait, okay. Here, Maybe here comes a Primeape. No, he still can't kill Articuno, though. Yeah, th there's, there's no way he wins, because even if he does kill Articuno, he's got no points. He'll just go to two points. Yep. That is looking like a GG. He did heal, though. He did heal to 110. Uh, oh, but if I... Ooh, if I Blizzard, then I'm enabling his Mankey, which I don't want to do that. So I'm thinking I actually retreat the Articuno and get Lapras back. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. We don't we don't want it, his primate to be online. So we're gonna retreat Articuno. I'm gonna put Lapras back in. We're gonna energy Articuno. And then we're gonna bubble drain once more. And this has been a, a long match. Fifteen turns. Let's say usually these matches go pretty quickly when you're playing Starmy EX, but yep. Called it. He has the Primate. Giovanni. Okay. But I don't think it matters. Six. Oh, wait. Actually, hold on now. Actually, it does matter because now I can't kill him. He's at 90 health. I do 80. Oh, no, no, I could kill him with a Starmie. Duh. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're good, we're good. So we'll just play Research. We'll play uh, Speed, because why not, All right? We'll play Speed. We will retreat. I've done a lot of retreating this match. I usually don't retreat my Pokemon that much, but... There we go. And an even 90... Damage shut out 3-0. That was that was a good game. I think I navigated that pretty well. I think I played that pretty well. So that was a good game. Good game there. So that's gonna be it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a long time since I have made a video, but uh I just haven't really been playing a lot of online card games. I went and played physical card games for a while, which was pretty fun. But um something about online card games is just it's just more convenient. Um, and, and I'm really enjoying Pokemon. I've never played the Pokemon card game up until now, but I've always played the Pokemon video games, watched the Pokemon anime, and stuff like that. So playing the Pokemon card game for the first time is, is pretty cool. I'm liking it. So let me know what you guys think about this video. Let me know what you guys think about Pokemon Pocket TCG. And let me know what other videos you want to see from me in the future. And that's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching. See you later.